my name is Lori Wilkie and I'm a third year psychology PhD student at Swansea University and I'm also a self-employed mindfulness teacher under Lori Wilkie Wellbeing. When we experience negative emotions it's usually because we are either dwelling or upset about something that happened to us in the past or we're worrying about something that might happen in the future. Practicing something called mindfulness is simply learning how to be present in the moment, to pay attention to what you're doing in the moment, to what's going on around you, um, without being caught up in your mind, to be lost in those negative thoughts about the future or about the past, but just being in the moment. So you can learn mindfulness either through formal meditations, um, where you can pay attention to the voice that's guiding you, you can focus on the breath or on the body, but it's about grounding yourself in the here and now. You can also practice for mindfulness informally through mindful walking, for example, where you can focus on what's going on around you, on the sky, on the sea, on the clouds, and try and be as present as possible without getting lost in distractions like your phone or worrying about thoughts. So today we're just going to do a formal meditation just to give you an idea of what that's like and just to learn the skills to be more mindful in general and then you can take these skills and practice them outside maybe when walking or whilst cooking, cleaning, you can practice mindfulness more informally. So we're going to just sit comfortably you can keep your back nice and straight put your hands on your lap and you can choose to either close your eyes um, or keep them open if you'd like i'd recommend closing them if you feel comfortable doing that and we're just going to take three big deep breaths um, to begin with so you're going to breathe in through your nose for a count of four and then we're going to do a slow out breath through the mouth for a count of eight. So we're going to do three of those to start off with. Okay, so breathe in, two, three, four, and breathe out through the mouth, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and again in, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, last time in, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight okay now we're gonna keep the focus on the breath simply notice how your body breathes how much air is going in and how is going out when your attention wanders you may notice yourself becoming lost in thoughts, just turn your attention back on to your breathing. Continue to see how your breath floats deeply and calmly. Notice each stage of the breath. From the start of the in-breath to the pause that follows all the way through the long exhale and the pause before taking the next breath. Feel the air entering through your nose. Picture that breath 
flowing through your lungs. Feel it in your stomach, in your diaphragm, as it fills up your belly, and then as it flows back out through the mouth. Notice how the space inside your body becomes smaller after you exhale and the air leaves the body. Feel your chest and your stomach rise and fall with each breath. You can start to count the inhalation and the exhalation if you notice yourself becoming lost in thoughts, count in your breaths and count out your breaths. Again, if you start to notice yourself having thoughts, just acknowledge them. Don't get tied up or lost in them. Just acknowledge that they're there and continue to count the breaths. Notice how your body feels. See how calm, how deep your breathing is and how relaxed your body has now become. It's time now to gently reawaken your body and your mind. Keeping your eyes closed, notice the sounds around you. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes and shrug your shoulders. Notice how they feel. Are they less tense than when you started? Is your breathing much deeper than it was before? Open your eyes and remain sitting for a few moments longer. Start to stretch out your arms and your legs. Enjoy how relaxed your body feels as it returns to its alertness. You can now continue with the rest of your day feeling a bit more re-energised. Okay, so that was a mindful meditation. It was only a short one just to give you a little taster of what formal meditation feels like. It takes a lot of practice, so it's something that you should keep going back to, but at the end you should notice a difference in your body and your state of mind once you've done your meditation. Especially if you're getting lost in thoughts, you should notice yourself feeling a lot calmer once it's done. You can practice formal meditations like this daily to try and become more mindful and then also you can take that outside of formal meditation into like I said when you go for a walk or sometimes when people go out to restaurants or when they're having food they like to be mindful of the food that they're eating. You can do mindful eating meditations to practice this in advance where you can take notice of the food, listen to your hunger signals. You can really smell the food and take it in, taste it, move it around your mouth and really experience the flavour, slow down your eating. People often say they find this helpful if they go out to a busy place to eat and they feel themselves getting a bit anxious or maybe they're a little bit worried. Then you can again draw yourself into the present moment using the food to try and practice mindfulness informally in that way too. The best way to access um, formal meditations, if you want guided meditations like the breathing exercise we just did, is to find those on YouTube. There are loads of free mindful meditations to try on there. Um, but the best thing is that you can just keep practicing them daily, try and do five minutes every day to really build the habit and you'll notice your mind feeling a lot calmer at the end of each one. <laughs>